Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I feel like I've lost my hair. It's very stressful as a business owner to not have product when you have demand, especially for six months. Maybe the supplements have kept me from losing my hair. And I'm excited to announce this reopening, grand opening, because I'm bringing something no other company has. Formulas and products developed based on what the body needs, not what makes a profit. For years on YouTube, I would just recommend other companies, use referrals on Amazon, but after I realized I could provide a better product at a more affordable price and some stuff wasn't even available, I decided to do it myself. Almost every time someone starts using something, a product, it's because someone else told them about it, someone has to sell something, and it's really something they didn't know about beforehand. I create products that I deem crucial to human health. You know, for the meat, I was tired of recommending people to eat wild, them getting ripped off by farmers, so I started Frankie's Free Range Meat. You know, Frankie's Naturals, I was making hygiene products for myself because I couldn't find anything in the store. Organ supplements, same thing. There's additives and chemicals in just about everything we consume, so if you make it yourself, you can remove those factors. And Wi-Fi shielding was more of a matter of making it more affordable to the average person. Previously on organ supplements, I only had six products. Uh, the beef testes, the full spectrum organs, beef liver, and then for vitamins we had uh, D3, K2, and iodine. Now I have 21 products total, 12 freeze-dried powders, and nine vitamins and minerals. And today I'm just gonna do a brief overview, mainly explaining how to use them, the nuances, and in a future video, I might go in depth on each of these if you guys want to and what specific health issue you would use them for. But a lot of my past videos do explain why you would want these. The animal glandulars are powders and the vitamins and minerals are liquid. That means the powders need to be blended into something, water, smoothie, milkshake, whatever, or put in a capsule. And some of these liquids don't taste that great. Most of them are fine though, small amounts and can be taken orally on their own. But as with the powders, you know, you can blend them into something. I really didn't want to put high quality, you know, freeze dried like adrenal powder, which is hundreds and hundreds of dollars per pound in a feedlot gelatin capsule, you know, mixing quality with crap. Uh, the glandulars are basically food. It's the original organ freeze dried into a non-perishable state since it's freeze dried as opposed to vacuum dried, it preserves all of the nutrients, those glandular properties that work in your own organ, and the taste is much milder. You know, when you consume this and digest it, in order for the thyroid material or the liver material to be used by your own cells, it has to be in that raw preserved state. That's why I didn't opt for the vacuum dried versions of the supplements. Uh, thyroid, for instance, is actually prescribed as a medication called Synthroid. I'm sure a lot of you are taking that. Synthroid is uh, lower quality. It's just like conventional pig thyroid, and that works very well. Uh, you know, this also contains the nutrient iodine, which is crucial for the function of the thyroid, in addition to those properties of the organ you consume being digested and going into your body to help the function of your own organ. So we still have the full spectrum organs, which is formulated for the correct ratios in our body. You know, any other product you see out there, they just throw even amounts of the powder in there, no rhyme or reason to what they're doing. And I was able to figure out what ratio we should be naturally consuming based on our ancestral diets. Most people, don't need all of these organs on a daily basis. So I do encourage you guys you know, to try each of these different amounts, see how you respond. When you freeze dry a food, the weight is between 20 and 25% of the initial product. So if you're trying to gauge how much of this you should consume, think of it as one fourth or one fifth of the typical organ you're consuming. So when you eat the freeze dried stuff, it's five times as much. You know, a tablespoon of freeze-dried liver powder is the equivalent of five tablespoons of liver, or about four, you know, between 20 and 25%. Moving on to the vitamins and minerals, and I made these because I'm taking them myself every day. 
I suggest practically all of my clients get most of these. And there's two issues with regular supplements. One, the dosage is not based on nutrition science or what naturally occurs in food. And two, they have fillers and stuff you don't want. Magnesium stearate, oxide, silica, just overall things that you don't have to have. These are just spring water and the mineral. And the dosage on the glandulars for other companies isn't as big of a deal because they are whole foods and have complex vitamin and mineral profiles. You know, when you have thyroid, you're getting, you know, 15, 20 different vitamins and minerals. But when you have a concentrated mineral, something like selenium or magnesium, if you take them at high doses, it can really cause imbalances. And it makes you wonder why, in the case of something like selenium, there isn't a supplement that is safe to take on a daily basis. Most of them are dosed way too high. And I've formulated each of these supplements to be what I deem as an acceptable amount to take on a daily basis. The frequency can be higher, obviously, if you're nutrient deficient, but for the most part, it's a maintenance dose. And I'm really, really excited the most about uh, the trace minerals right here. We have a B complex, we have an antioxidant support. The trace minerals are dosed to be what naturally occurs in high quality plant foods. The antioxidant support is great for headaches if you're temporarily in a high Wi Fi environment. And the B complex is unlike anything else on the market. It has all of the B vitamins naturally occurring in meat in natural ratios. Any other B complex supplement has usually reported toxicity for certain B vitamins such as B6. And to be clear, I don't mean natural as in they're derived from meat. I mean natural as in, you know, if you ate like a pound or two of steak a day, that's the ratio that these B vitamins occur in. I guess the overarching problem is that most supplements that are available online are just dosed too high and you can't really tell how much of it you're supposed to take. Uh, so definitely let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, guys. I'll uh, kind of leave you guys at it. You know, I've done videos on copper, magnesium. Uh, I have to touch on selenium. I think I spoke about it in the iodine video. Uh, the trace minerals are boron, manganese, and molybdenum, stuff you usually don't get on carnivore that occurs in plant foods. The B complex is simply all the B vitamins. Antioxidant support is N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, uh, coenzyme Q10, vitamin C. Uh, so organsupplements.com, check this stuff out, guys. Let me know if you want me to go more in depth on each of these. Uh, I would be pretty involved, but you know, most of this stuff can be taken at face value and assumed uh, what it's for. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And uh, if you want to check out everything besides organ supplements, you can go to frank-stefano.com. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.